Hello folks again. There's a great deal of uncertainty in the automotive industry. Cybersecurity this is becoming relevant for homologation. The UNICE regulation requires a cybersecurity management system. Even more. A car maker needs a certification for his CSMS. What makes a management system for cybersecurity so important? My name is Thomas Liedke. I am a cybersecurity expert at Kugler Mark and Company. I train practitioners on cybersecurity in the automotive sector and advise companies on this topic since over a decade. There is an invisible expiration date on cybersecurity. Encryption is a good example of this. A key that cannot be broken today may not be an obstacle tomorrow, when attackers will have better tools and additional know how at their disposal. Therefore, cybersecurity is a moving target. As an organization, make sure that your products are developed reasonably secure and the degree of security remains high till the end of support of your product to keep pace with new threats. In this video, I give you a fictional scenario of what these two requirements mean in practice. Based on the scenario, we work out three key challenges that every vendor in the automotive industry is confronted with. By the way, I have prepared a second video, which shows you which elements you can use to set up your cybersecurity management system. Just watch this video later on. Let's dive into this scenario. I assume a critical and urgent case. Let's call our vendor Shandian, a car maker from Pagan. The security operation center at Shandian is responsible for monitoring the security posture of a fleet. The security operation center detects the beginning of an attack. An initial event analysis using a field return cast shows that the attack compromises a control unit developed by Delta Components, one of the leading system suppliers. This hack may lead to a theft of some personal data. The range analysis shows that only a small portion of a fleet in Asia will be attacked as the attack can't be scaled to our vehicle types or regions. How could Chandian react to cope with the risk? With the scenario in mind, I'll explain three challenges of a cybersecurity management system. First challenge. Companies need to ensure fast response and field incidents. Let us start with a quick but safe and secure response. It relies on good forensics. Data Components, the supplier responsible for the compromise control unit, has a well-trained analytics and incident response team. After a few days, the analytic guys understood the situation. They informed Chandian Incident Response Unit that they don't recommend developing a patch at the moment. A couple of days later, Shandian agreed to accept the risk for the time being. The vulnerability will be locked with the next regular functional update in autumn. Why did Shandian decide to accept the risk? The intermediate solution would stop the attack by limiting the functionality. There was a risk assessment to determine the risk value. The relevant impact categories were used to evaluate the severity level of the damage. Functional safety, financial, operational, and privacy. In none of these categories was the impact high enough to require immediate action. The decision to accept the risk is a serious and legitimate balancing act. Shandian had a trade-off to make between the risk and the inconvenience for the users due to a limitation of functions. Aside this task allocated to the incident response team and the vulnerability test team, dedicated effort is required to understand what other products of our customers in which lifecycle phase may have the same vulnerability. Finally, a dedicated communication plan needs to be prepared at both Shandian and Delta components. Purpose is to make sure that all relevant partner, customer, road user, regulatory bodies and others get the information they need through appropriate channels. 
To summarize, a quick response is essentially built on these CSMS elements. Collecting relevant cybersecurity information. Triage collected cybersecurity information using triggers. Assessment of cybersecurity events, identification and analysis of cybersecurity vulnerabilities. Management of identified cybersecurity vulnerabilities if necessary. Second challenge, companies need to maintain security over lifetime. The scenario also raised a second question. Why did Delta components not respond when the vulnerability became public in a hacker conference half a year ago? Well, you have to become aware of vulnerability before you can act on it. A tier one of a certain size and legacy has literally hundreds of thousands of products and variants of products at various relevant stages of a life cycle. Combine with, with the number of potential vulnerabilities and we can easily see the sheer number of risks is overwhelming. No organization can manage this by hand. Therefore, a key aspect of a CSMS is to build an infrastructure with dedicated tools that automate this type of task. Regularly scanning databases for new vulnerabilities and checking whether existing products could be affected is a task that should be performed routinely. This can be done internally or with the help of a partner. In addition, Information about security vulnerabilities can also come from our sources. These may be newsletters, conferences, partners, suppliers, industry working groups, bug bounties, or even information from a darknet. Therefore, a process must be in place to ensure that the organization regularly scans relevant sources separates noises from relevant information and analyzes information about potential vulnerabilities to understand if the risk landscape has changed. Without effective monitoring mechanism, Delta components cannot keep cybersecurity up to date. In summary, maintaining cybersecurity over the life cycle is essentially built on these CSMS elements. Strategy to scan products and their parts for vulnerabilities throughout the lifecycle. Structured approach to scanning external sources of information about weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Criteria for filtering out noise from relevant information, the so-called triage. List of all vulnerabilities and associated information, which of them are managed and which are critical continuous monitoring that controls are still effective. Keeping the risk assessments current regarding attacks, vulnerabilities, etc. Continuous maintenance of the asset database to appropriate support for event assessment. Third challenge. Companies to integrate cybersecurity work with other work streams. With the last challenge, we'll have a short look on what makes a management system on cybersecurity effective. Your company already has management systems for quality, risk management, work safety, environmental management, and so on. So thoroughly analyze how you can integrate CSMS requirements into this already existing process landscape. This is easier said than done in practice. Integration is most likely to succeed when it results in a well-structured integrated management system. This regulates at which level and in which area of your company particular subsystem came into play. As an example, the requirements for product development are in fact different from those for production. Accordingly, the subsystems are based on different industry standards. With the integrated management system, you govern each issue at the appropriate level. By interlinking them, you ensure that cybersecurity and other management issues will be part of day-to-day -day business without question. 
learn more about this in my next video. With your cybersecurity management system in place, you ensure that all necessary cybersecurity activities for development, production, and post-production are carried out thoroughly and until the vehicle series finally reaches the end of its service. Cybersecurity, I want to reiterate here, is not an afterthought. We have prepared a more detailed white paper for you. You will find the link in the video description below. If you learned something, please give the video a thumbs up. Just subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any further video. Click on the displayed video and keep on watching. See you soon.